potatoes side dish. Um, wanna change it up? Don't wanna do mashed, don't wanna do smashed, don't wanna do roasted. So I went in the fridge and I saw I had a bunch of herbs left over. I only have a little bit of cream and some cheese. So I'm gonna take my potatoes, thinly slice them, and make my version of a gratin for dinner. Um, you can do this with any kind of cheese. I'm doing it with Parmesan and Asiago. I've done it with blue cheese, especially if I'm serving like a steak. But it's all about layering and putting it in the oven and leaving it to get that bubbly, delicious caramel top. Is go slow. Um, I mean, my knife skills are pretty decent, so we want consistency, okay? I'm just gonna show you, pretty consistent. We want them nice and thin. We're slicing all the potatoes, and just while we're working, I have a bowl with just some cold water, and I'm dropping them in, like I said, nice and thin, because it's like almost like a chip thin. Um, and if you're cutting, and you don't feel comfortable with it on the roll, once you cut a little, turn the potato, and start this way so you're working with a flat surface. We're gonna make um, our cream sauce that's gonna go over our potatoes. So uh, you can do it in a saucepan, I just had this out. Um, we're gonna melt one stick of butter and I chopped up around, well I minced, around four cloves of garlic, really fine. So what I'm gonna do is once the butter's melted, I'm gonna add the garlic, saute it a little bit, and then I'm gonna add the cream, let it reduce down, and then I'm gonna let it kind of cool, just like room temp, because I'm gonna pour it over our potatoes that I'm gonna slice while this is on low. And you wanna keep it on low um, so it doesn't boil over, first of all, and second, the reason we're heating it is so the butter and the cream can kind of come together and the garlic can infuse that flavor as well. There is honestly, so many good smells in the world, like bacon and warm chocolate chip cookies. But butter and garlic cooking together. So good. So our garlic is sauteed down in our butter. We're gonna add our cream in right now. Gonna lower the heat and we're gonna stir, let it simmer. We wanna bubble it, we don't boil over. So we're gonna go on low, occasionally stirring it until it all comes together. All right, let's assemble our potatoes. Now you can use any kind of oven, oven safe dish. I just nonstick sprayed it, and I always put it on a sheet pan so that if it boils over, it doesn't make a mess in my oven. Um, so the potatoes, like I said, we slice thin. I had them in some water. We are just going to layer them on the bottom. We're gonna do this layer by layer. It takes a little bit of time, but it's so worth it at the end. Um, you kind of want to overlap them. See how I'm going? You want to, so that there's no opening. So the next row will start over on top of it. And then I usually save the real little pieces at the end to cover any kind of holes. So this will be down. We're gonna do a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of salt. We're gonna take our butter and uh, cream mix that's heated up with the garlic. And we're just gonna do, I like to do it with the spoon so we can be nice and even. A little drizzle over every little piece of potato. Then our herb mix of the rosemary and parsley, a nice sprinkle, shredded asiago, and then the parmesan. Make sure you hit all your corners so that it stay, everything gets covered really nice. And now we're going to do it again. Build the same layer on top, on top, until you run out of potatoes. In case you missed the first layer, I'll show you shingling our potatoes out. Like I said, save the little ones to fix any holes. Doing our cream on top, ladling that right over. This is the cream and butter with the garlic. Make sure you cover all the potatoes. Our herb mix of the rosemary, uh, parsley, and cilantro. A little Asiago. And then a little parm. And then we're gonna do it all over again. So I got around five layers of the potatoes, finished it with the rest of the cheese and herbs on top. Um, going to cover it. It's going in four, I'm gonna make a dome lid. So let me show you what I mean. Tight on one side, around the handles. I'm gonna come in with my hand and I'm gonna pop this up like this. I don't want the cheese to stick to here. So on this side, looser, on the loose side, I'm gonna fold it under. Um, this is gonna go in for around 
25 minutes at 400. It has a nice air pocket. Then we'll take it off to brown the top and melt the cheese on top. But we want the potatoes to start going. 400, 25 minutes covered. Then we'll pop it off. I'll show you what it looks like halfway through. We're going in for the potatoes. We're gonna pull the foil off. Ooh, they're bubbling. So now we're going to finish them for a good 20 minutes. I'm gonna turn the temp up to 425. The foil comes off and see how it was like a dome lid, nothing stuck to it, all the cheese is there. We're gonna cover, cu cover it, shut the oven and let it finish. Ooh yeah, they just came out of the oven, people. Look at these potatoes. Now we need to let them cool uh, for two reasons. One, the liquid will start to congeal and it will firm up. Then we will slice it. You're gonna slice it like a lasagna into squares and serve that with our dinner tonight. I also have just a couple fresh um, scallions to garnish with once it's cooled down. Okay, our potato is out. It's cooled. I'm trying to find my. Oh yeah, yeah. Hold on. Oh here, I'm gonna do it with pizza cutter. So I go down the middle. Yeah. Yeah. This is happening and it smells so good. Oh my god. I'm gonna cut like this. Let me get a spatula. I'm eating as I scoop. See, you've got a little square. Just a little garnish. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I need a fork. I need a fork right now. Um, potatoes are perfect. I'm making a mess. Come on. The spatula's in the way. You can't even see me eat. It's like crusty, delicious, cheesy. Stinging really hot. Perfect side dish. And it's like a little high end. It's a great for a dinner party. You can make this ahead of time, make your life easier. All you have to do is put it in the oven and let it go. You saw it. It took like almost an hour to do. Tag us if you try it. You try to make it. Tag me. I want to see it.